Well, hello and welcome back. Today, I'll well, just continue on with Crestoro 2. So last we left off, we kind of solved a stone issue by, well, turning mineral water into matter and then the matter into stone. Did I upgrade this a bit, or make sure we've got all the beacons and mm, all the speed models, a couple of the efficiency modules to bring the energy usage down because yeah, it's expensive otherwise. But we're getting about three belts of stone coming through here. About nine stone a second, which is helping solve my stone situation. So, what I want to do today is start seeing if I can get the advanced tech card going here. It's going quite a lot of mana tech cards, a thousand in total. I'm not sure if I have enough at the moment, but it's just a matter of time to get all that. And that will allow me to actually get the advanced tech cards, which I want to get that up and running so I can actually get like the advanced machinery here. So the advanced machine machine, the advanced furnace, and the advanced chemical plant. Because those will be a lot more efficient going forwards here. Which actually gives access to superior inserters. So that's cool. That is very, very nice. But, for now, just gotta wait for the research to get done. Which hopefully that's Getting done here? Yeah. It's just going to take a while because we need about a thousand of it for just the advanced tech cards. So I do have the... Oh, okay, so I did get the research done being able to make the advanced tech cards. And I'm going to get... Well, and did gather enough for the resource to be able to make enough to research the advanced sim machine and the advanced chemical plant. Maybe more, but... I want to see what else I can do here. For now, I'm just going to throw down the advanced one of these here to be able to at least get well, advanced tech card production up and running here. So it's not going to be a massive amount, but it will work. So lithium sulfur batteries, immersium gear wheels, electric engine units, and blank tech cards. Something I actually need to do first. I forgot to grab some productivity modules. Which I probably just left somewhere there. Oh, that's right. I can pinch them from these old labs that don't need them anymore. I just got three's worth. Not exactly. Sorry. I'm not sure exactly how many this quantum computer grabbed because I didn't really pay attention. Oh, it's only four. Cool. So that's good. Now I'm just waiting for all this to come through, which I don't care about how many servers I have. Eh, let's just go with what I've got. Plunk that down here, we plunk this in here like that, and bang. That starts getting me advanced tech cards. I think I want to change this up a little bit. Remove all of these and just place one of each of these in here just so that they all run faster. But there we go. So, we've got at least some basic advanced tech cards being produced, which is just requiring lithium sulfur batteries, immersion gear wheels, electric engine units, and blank tech cards. Not running as fast as they can, but Let's at a decent speed. To increase the speed, I would just need to add more beacons around it to, well, let everything run. But, hey, this works out. We're getting enough. We haven't gotten both the advanced, well, assembler and the advanced chemical furnace, or chemical plant. I can actually go on and get the, well, design that I want for the advanced tech cards here. So, what I'm going to want is... Another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight stations here. Because, well, we're going to require seven inputs and one output for the advanced tech cards. So that's not too hard to do. We just grab all of these here and just plonk them down. Apart from a couple of things where there might be a few 
be in the way here, which could be a bit on the annoying side, but I can work with that. So, uh, where are we? Stations, there we are. So the eight of those coming through there, that's fine. Throw that down, that works. Okay. So we get the eight here, we need to have eight of them as item unloads here. Put that around. Oh, seven of them as un unloads. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we have one of them as an item load. Perfect. And we'll grab the design I came up with earlier, which is this one here. Because of the way it is, it can fit in fairly nicely anywhere here. So we're gonna to need to bring, well, the design is just enough so that we can actually just need one of each machine to be able to make everything. So quantum computers, advanced chemical plants, advanced assembly machines, and well, we didn't need advanced assembly machines for the pipes and gears, so we just went with assembly machine threes. So that all works out. But I still also need the advanced assembly machines, which means we're gonna to need to get them set up here, which is a bit annoying. I believe I could just do it like this. So advanced chemical plant and the advanced SM machine. We just copy those, turn back. Easily come up here where these currently are, put them down there. And yeah. Don't like how limited I am here. So I'm gonna have to head up there myself, but helps out I've got a little bit of stuff here so we'll grab some fuel from you here ah, I saw that and we'll throw a quick train here hop in throw a bit of fuel in and send it all the way up to Why are you saying you can't go anywhere? Oh, because we can't. There's a track missing right here. That would probably help. Okay. So, come up here for now. Not too important, but I still want to make sure I use the automatic so it doesn't cause any issues. And navigating around these well, rails can be a bit on the annoying side, but... It's fine. Got this coming all the way up here. Oh yeah, that's for the nitric acid. Cool. Hop in. Save you. And come down here. So I suppose I didn't need to do what I did before. Oh. So that will start making the advanced sim machines and the advanced chemical plants, which I should have everything except the electronic components because, well, we might be lacking. No, we've got electronic components. Cool. So that's all well and good. I don't think I actually need to be over there to actually show this off, but hey, let's do this nonetheless. Another quick jaunt back over there. Everything looks to be pretty decent. There's just a few things we are lacking in regards to certain things, but hey, this is fine. It will work. Yeah, you can see it's still lacking a lot of items here. Cool. So, what I'm going to do. If it looks like there's no, oh, oh no, wait, there is a couple of overlaps here. Lithium, 
and rare metals. Because we've already got them there, I could possibly get away with removing two of these lines here because they're not necessary. Because I'll grab the some lithium and rare metals from other ones here, and also the tech cards. So it also removes a third line from as well, yeah. So, that should do the trick. So I'm just gonna have to reconfigure some of these to be three to twos, not three to th ones, but that shouldn't be too hard. No, six to twos. But for now, we'll set you to be for iron, requester. Train number one. And so this will be a six to one balancer. Um, electronic circuits will be six to one as well. We'll need one for imitite powder. Actually, we need two belts for imitite powder. So that's a six to two, which is always one that doesn't quite fit in there. And what else? Uh, copper. Oh, I also forgot the sulfuric acid and lubricant. So we still do need another couple of stations here. Okay. One for the sulfuric acid and one for the lubricant. Because the electric engines, yep. Okay, well that's not too bad. So you Station and the station. Perfect. Okay, I don't need that one there. Cool. So I can move all this. Perfect. I can also move that. Um, so there's copper, lithium, rare metals. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so this is just one needs to be for copper. Copper requester. So iron, we've got the electronic circuits. And what was it? Even type powder, that's right. Even type powder requester. Check. It's all good. Wait. Yeah, this being inside powder, get two out. Copper, which is just a single belt, so that's simple enough as well. Just make sure everything is actually connected up here. Oh, I named this wrong. This needs to be the other copper one. It's entirely on me. Okay. You guys go back to your... Request. Okay, yeah, you can sit here, that's fine. Okay. Now we need one for the lubricant requester and a Actually this one won't be for sulfuric acid. This will be the advanced tech card provider. Simple enough. This one will be for the sulfuric acid requester. Perfect. Now we just need to get those couple hooked up with fluid being pumped out of here. With the sulfuric acid being hooked up to the 
sulfuric acid here. Let's see, how far up can we... Oh, just one shy. That's annoying. But this is okay. So we'll plunk you down here. Plunk that over there, so that will be the lubricant coming through. Down here, going across. Um, actually, need to make sure these are all rotated around so that they're unloading. Perfect. That's fine. Can we make you do with... Big electro pulses so that gets that all powered up. Perfect. Okay, so need to make sure you use all downgrades of red belts. So the iron comes over here. We've got the electronic circuits coming over here. Two belts of imosite powder going into here. Um, half a belt of copper and half a belt of lithium going in there, rare metals. Well, considering there's only half a belt going through here, I could probably just even just throw another one of these in here and set up where it... just makes its way across here. This one I'm going to need to redo because it needs to be three belt, a belt coming through. Okay, there we go. That does that. Rare metals is an annoying one because of how it needs to be changed up here. How high is it to go from a six to two to a six to three? I mean, from a 6 to 1 to a 6 to 2. Kind of a bit annoying. How much is this actually consuming here? Um, one a second. And I'm pretty sure we only need... No? What do I have calculated for here? Yeah, no. I can easily, easily just... Take a little bit more from here. and bring this excess over there. I probably want to set up to have the output priority on the left, so it's prioritizing going another spot, but that's fine. And all we need now is the tech cards. Which, how much is each using? Barely any. Yeah, this is probably going to be the limit of what I could actually pull over here. Okay. That's pretty decent. Now I just need all the trains set up. So, okay, so I do have my trains all went up and running, but now we're running into a bit of a problem here in that I don't have enough oil production. So... Easy way I'm going to be able to fix that is possibly fit in another, well, just grabbing these old patches right here, which just have me in borders. That way I don't have to do any more research. So, let's first off grab an offshoot here.
we actually have to be in a good spot, so we'll switch this over to that. Okay. And then I need to be able to put a station in somewhere. Where? I don't know. Eh. Let's plonk that in there, then we can grab our station in here, because I can't remember exactly how much space I'm going to need, but we can put that there. And I'm going to need to remove that one there to be able to fit all of the oil pump jacks in to be able to connect it all up. Okay. So that looks good. I'll be removed, but that's fine. We've got a whole line of rubber ports up top side, so that's good. And so with all these in, I could actually start thinking about how I'm going to place this fluid in. And so I'm going to connect it up. Oh, I missed this one here. Okay. Oh, connecting up shouldn't be too bad. There's none that are perfectly in line here, so... I'm sure I could fix something out here. So for now, I'll switch this one over to a 1 to 2. So I can plonk that down there, grab this, throw that in here because it's just not enough space for it to be able to reach all the way up here sort of thing. So. And that was the one that was furthest down. We've got another one here. Cool. I forgot to plonk one in here. There's probably better ways of going about this than this, but hey. Oh, this one lines up perfectly. So, the usual thing of swap that around. We can then throw this down in here, grab the right hand one there. Then we can grab the fluid. Set this up with a loading setup here. Which one you bother with that, so throw this here and one more like so. That will almost do exactly what I want. So now just for the ease of coverage we'll just use substations, which two is actually enough to cover all of them. It's cool. But we'll still need to connect it up with a bit of power here. Okay, what is up with these ones here? Namely... You don't need that there. Nor that one there. Nor technically that one there. There's enough space in between for that. Uh, we don't need this one here. That's been outdated for a while. Okay, that should be good. So now we can rename this one with a train limit of one to be a oil provider. And with that, I'll actually go in and get a second oil train set up and running here because just having one, we've got two stations for that are requesting oil. So let's do that. So, quickly get this set up with oil requester. Wait until, not not a temporary. Wait until full cargo will set manual. Then we'll go to oil provider. Wait until empty cargo. There you go. And this should work out. Once these are all connected up and we've got power coming to them all. Here come the substations, half of them pumping up, and yeah, it's the other one, half. Perfect. 
bit weird in how this works, but hey, this was still built up. So that's all well good. So that's our oil situation sorted out. Like, there are a few more things I could go on to do here, but mostly everything is running just once we get a decent amount of oil. I'm just wondering why hasn't any been pumped over yet? Exhaust yeah, is just going there. Okay. So that we've actually got the advanced tech cards. We've researched a bit more for the advanced chemical plants and the advanced assembly machines. Got a couple of them, a few of them in use here, and everything. So that's all well and good. Let's just make sure that everything is running nice, nicely here. And yeah, this might be a good spot to call the end of the episode here. So I'll call it the end of the episode here, so you can comment, like, subscribe down below. Really helps out with YouTube, discovery and whatnot, and that. Thank you all for watching. Catch you all next time.